Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello. Welcome to the video for what is get affecting button. I'm gonna go ahead and run this example. And this note's pretty simple. It's going to give us the button that caused, that caused the click event. If I click the left mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse button, and then clicking on the button, well, this is actually gives me a different result. It gives me button clicked. Let's go ahead and look at the note itself. So get affecting button takes in an input for a pointer structure. Now this pointer event structure could be a mouse event, it could be a touch event, it's an input event. It's going to return back the key structure, which is the key that was basically affecting this. What Which key did we get back? Which key caused this event to fire? Now the reason why we got back mount up the button click was if we go and look in our event graph, we looked at the on click button. I told it to print out button clicked. If we unhook this, for example, so let's just remove it completely. Nothing happens. Now we have nothing hooked up to the mouse click. Sorry, nothing hooked up to the button. We run it again, left and right, the mouse, nothing. The reason for that is this effecting button is being called by my mouse button down. The event graph itself with the way inputs handled, my button is handling that input and not passing it off to my actual um, underlying parent widget. Basically, this is taking the in input, intercepting it, and not feeding it over here. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are using something that takes an input and you want to know what button they push down, for example, the affecting button, it's due to the fact that this input is being basically eaten or handled previously to getting here by the button itself. Now the button itself has the ability for you to tell if it was clicked and you can tell which button clicked it. So that is how you would tell in that case. Now something to note, if we go through the code, we look at where our code shows up. This is the mouse button that caused the event to be raised, possibly EB none. It's possible that a mouse button did not call this event mouse button down. For example, if you're using touch to simulate clicking. So keep that in mind, if you're using touch, you're not going to get back a mouse button down because, well, it's got its own separate nodes to handle which finger was touched and things like that. Those are not mouse buttons. So that's it. That's what our on mouse, not on mouse button, that's what our get affecting button node does. It returns us back which key structure for the button that the person pressed at the time that you check the event.